I went to bring the lead. <laughs> <laughs> she started important work to do. Yeah, I mean, you can't do much after you. Anyway. <laughs> well, this is way worse than Cupid, but... <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, I spiked her goblet. So my thunder a bit, but what I was going to ask was, um, did you have any um, sort of anecdotes of anything that went on behind the scenes when you were making sex after kids? No, we were pretty. No, we were just doing our scenes. But there was sex after kids. Because the, the difference with sex after kids is that it was a really tight shooting schedule. Um, so we were shooting around Lost Girl. Lost Girl. So we would shoot all week and then shoot the movie on the weekends. So it was, that, it was a really crazy time. That. Yeah, and then, you know, it's an independent movie, so it's not like, you know, it, it just becomes a little bit tougher again from A to B to the middle of your lines of getting in, the amount of time you have in the location, the amount of time you have to shoot, and you know, the how it's how easy it is, it's like, it's great, it's tight, it's tough, and you've got to be on the ball, and you know, because you can't waste any time, it's pretty precious. Very precious. Very precious. Yeah. I'm just trying to second guess everything I see. I've almost got a computer. It was a fun shoot though. I had a total, like I had a blast yeah. on that shoot. Yeah. Yeah. And they were fun characters. I've never been handcuffed to a bed before. So that was a first. Yeah. For me. Yeah. <laughs> In case any of you were interested, that was the first time that happened. It was really? Yeah. Yeah. No, never. I've, no, never been handcuffed anywhere. Wow. You got to do that. That's right. Yeah, I seem to bring that back. Yeah, you brought that back. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Yeah, you're making it up. Well, I tried. You tried. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Uh, no, so no. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all, sadly, on that one. We were trying to do a good job. And they were fun characters, and it's fun to work with Jeremy, so. And, you know, he's a pretty straight guy when he's, when he's filming. He's, he needs yeah. to get it all done, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. He doesn't move around. Right, okay. What's next? What's on the, what's on the calendar? What's the rest of the year look like for you guys? 
Well, I mean, for me, I shot Lost Girl. We had a tiny break, and I went straight into Dark Matter. So we just shot that season, and I'm sort of taking a bit of time off just to, uh, you know. And then if we go again, we'll probably go back in October. So so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do anything until then. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been working really heavily on the game, and uh, we're still kind of just finishing that up. And then you do a couple, like, cons that we're doing, sometimes on the weekends, where... I mean, I think there was a time in April and May where, because we were working six days a week on the game, um, and I did a couple of cons. I remember there was a four-week stint where I didn't have a day off. I literally just went straight through every day for four weeks. And, you know, it's been a little bit hectic. So, uh, as well, as soon as this is done, this is over, and we have a few more cons to do this summer, um, I, I would like to go away <laughs> and then think about what I want to do next. But... Uh, who knows? You may get an audition next week, and next thing you know, I'll be, I'll be doing something different in August or September because you can never, you never know as an actor. So, and when opportunities present themselves, sometimes you just got to grab them because they're they're so good. Um, especially at this stage in our career as well, you know. Because hopefully the the opportunities are better now each time, so and you've got to like try and keep building. So you we know, Who knows? Are there, probably any, on the beach. are there any opportunities that either of you missed and really regretted it? The one, whether it was conflicts with shooting or something else? But oh yeah, that amazing audition I had to turn down because I was here this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. DC Legends, no, I don't need to be part of that. <laughs> no, I don't know, I've been really lucky. I, I, I don't know, I mean, I never think, I try not to think about it as missed opportunities, you know? I was up for a lead in another series when I was sort of a really recurring character on Lost Girl, when it was in the first season, and I had no idea at that point that Lauren would go for five years, so, and it couldn't work out, it just, like, scheduling didn't work out, and I remember being a bit disappointed because it was a lead, and I, I was really excited about it, and I had no idea that Lost Girl would, would happen the way that it did, that it would unfold the way that it did, and it would turn into what it has, and, but, like, in retrospect, I'm so grateful I didn't get that job. I couldn't work it out because I wouldn't have been able to do this. And so, I don't know, it all kind of works out in a weird way, you know? Can you say what the show was? Did, was no. Something that was, did it get picked up? Was it good? Yeah, it's a great yeah. show. It's a, yeah, it's a really good show. And, uh, and the bloody woman that's on it's really great, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, I might. Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh. Yes. Did wearing heels in Lost Girl, did it bring out your inner stripper? Where are you? Stripper? What? what? Did wearing heels bring out your inner stripper? My inner stripper? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there's like 10 inner strippers in your, yeah, awesome, and they all came out. They had a great time. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I yeah. Guess. I think yes is the answer. Yes, yeah. yes, obviously yes. There, there was a, there's an inner stripper. In all of us. In all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Just sometimes, you know, they decide not to come out at all in your life, and you know, the heels obviously did it. They were clear heels, though. You know. Clear. Yeah. Strippers usually wear clear heels, don't they? Do they? Do they? No, I, <laughs> I think they wear very little. <laughs> Well, they wear clear heels when they're stripping on stage because of like the lights and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, apparently, that's a, that's a thing. Clear heels. We should have gone to the strip club last night. I told you. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know about the clear, clear heel, heel stripper thing. Yeah, I know. I like Chris Rock has a whole bit in his live act about clear heels. Oh. Yeah. Um, about you make that you make sure that if your daughter puts on, you know. It's an issue if she starts putting on clear heels. Oh, yeah. she's going to be a stripper. She's going to be a stripper. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my heels were not clear. You'll see them later. Anyone else? Is that the end? I mean, You can just ask us. Yeah, and we'll... Have I ever been to a con as a fan? Have I ever been to a con as a fan? No. I actually didn't really know 
anything much about them until no, we started doing know. them. I was, I had no, this world was completely foreign to me. Yeah. Um, and then you did them first. Yeah, I yeah. did. Well, cousin, I. You broke ground. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've never, uh, no. But they're kind of weird, crazy, and fun. Oh, they're great. Yeah. 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 I'm very good for our kind of cast as well, because we're kind of... Well, we get to hang out. We get to we hang out. We wouldn't hang out otherwise. I mean, we couldn't, I mean, not we wouldn't. But, like, it just doesn't work. We don't see each other enough, and everyone's really busy, so... Yeah, it's hard it's to... Really... It's, yeah, it's hard to find excuses just to, hey, let's all get together. Yeah. It's because life doesn't... You give us a reason to get together. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I just find, because sometimes, you know, you'll get a call from the car engine, and she'll be like, so I booked you in with... So and so and so and so, and you're like, yes, where? Oh, yes, that's gonna be a great weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Right, I'll find out where we go drinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, how hard is it for you to do the love scenes in Moscow? The what scenes? The love scenes, the sex scenes. You know how hard is it? Getting down and doing it. It's not hard at all, is it? <laughs> I don't think. I mean, sometimes just the technicality of it can be difficult, but I mean, you know, it's kind of like any other scene set scenes, for me anyway, you just do them, you just have to do them, you know, it's part of your your job. I mean, just sometimes strategically figuring out how to not flash the crew, who are literally like yawning, because they've seen the scene so many times that they're not even really watching anymore, so they're not really that interested in your bits. And they book a lot of time off for them, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah it's hours. It's hours That's and hours. hours. It's hours of and making it becomes a, a closed set, and it gets, like, it takes like forever. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it gets really boring. <laughs> so there. Yeah. Yeah, it was boring for me. Yeah, well, who did you have sex with? Nobody. I'm, 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 I'm just in the van waiting for it to get over and done with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's like six hours now. And who did I have sex with? Just Anna and Ali and Very Chris. Is yeah. that it? And then I made out with Nadia a bit, didn't I? Um, Mar 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 oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I gave her a night she'll never forget. <laughs> Hi. Um, what was the If Lauren could have a Fey power, what do you think it would be? And if Bex could have another power, what would you like that to be? Vex doesn't need any more powers. Yeah. He's just got the best power anyway. Yeah, so I want his. I've always wanted Vex's power. But I think if Lauren could just like have scientific answers pop into her head, just random just random scientific things that she knew, like that she could get like the Nobel Prize for, that would be pretty good. She'd be pretty excited about that, I think. Yeah. Pretty good at doing that in the series. Yeah, so. I mean, she's pretty I mean, she good. solves everything pretty yeah. faster than anyone else. She does, doesn't yeah. she? Oh, she's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never said that in my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what last question over here. Ooh, you've got the last one. That's big responsibility. It is. Prussia. Um, what's your um, closest similarity to your characters, and what's like the first, other than possibility? What's your closest um, most distant like attributes to your characters in Moscow? My inner stripper. <laughs> Is that the closest or the furthest though? Uh, no, it's the closest one. Probably recklessness. Rex's recklessness. I can be a little reckless, I guess, at times. As a human being, trying to piece my life together. <laughs> <laughs> eight a.m. in the morning. I don't know. I mean. Like I'm pretty nerdy. I'm, I'm pretty like uh, I'm not I'm not really very cool. I'm not that cool, you know. I'm not sort of I don't have I've never had my finger on that pulse. And I think Lauren is uh, she's a bit nerdy too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Um, because we were running a little bit late, we'll try and keep the photo shoots and everything as they should be. Um, if we could give Zoe and also Paul a huge round of applause.